morning, Teacher Alice of Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School, Senior High School. Welcome to another fun learning episode on Earth and Life Science. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us recall first the stress on rocks. Can you still remember the three different types of stress? Very good! The three types of stress are compression, tension, and shearing. Moving on for today's lesson, we will describe the types of folding and faulting. Have you visited some amazing landforms? Let us look at the scenery. Do you know how they are formed? Each of them formed from constant movement of the Earth's crust. Now, let's dwell on the processes of folding and faulting. Get ready to discover and be amazed on some of its importance and effects of these Earth's movement. Earth's surface is composed of tectonic plates that are constantly moving. The plates result in deformation of the Earth's crust. The different types of stress that act upon rocks play an important role in the movement of plates. The first type of Earth movement is folding. It results from the compression of rock because of high temperature and pressure from the interior of Earth. Bending, curving, crumbling, or buckling of rocks into folds are usually visible on rock strata. Folding can also happen in oceans and seas. Do you know the different types of folding? Correct! These are monocline, anticline, syncline, overturned, and recumbent. The first type of folding is monocline. It is a step-like fold in rock strata consisting of a zone of steeper, dip within an otherwise horizontal, or gently dipping sequence. Can you name an example of monocline? Correct! An excellent example of monocline is the water pocket fold in Capitol Reef National Park, USA. Now, let's have the second type of folding. Anticline. It is the type of fold that is an arc-like shape. Can you give me an example of anticline? Very good! Blue Ridge and Ticlanorium of Northern Virginia is an example of anticline folding. The third type of folding is syncline. It is a downward fold of the rock. Syncline formed when tectonic plates move toward each other, compressing the crust and forcing it upward. One example of syncline is Southland Syncline of New Zealand. The fourth type of folding is overturned. It happens when one fold is pushed over the other limb due to increasing pressure. Can you give me an example of overturned folds? You got it right! Wasatch Mountains of USA is one of the examples of overturned fold. Now, we are down to the fifth type of folds, which is 
recumbent. It is an extreme type of overturned fold in which the actual plane acquires an almost horizontal. Can you name one example of recumbent fold? Very good! It is the Miluk Haven, Cornwall of United Kingdom. So, we are done with the different types of folding. Let us proceed to the second type of earth movement, which is fault. Fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. Faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur rapidly in the form of an earthquake or may occur slowly in the form of creep. Faults may range in length from a few millimeters to thousands of kilometers. Most faults produce repeated displacement over geologic time. There are three types of faults. Can you name them all? Correct! These are normal fault, reverse fault, and transform fault. Let us start with the normal fault. Normal fault occurs when rock is being pulled apart due to tension force. In this type of fault, rock generally moves down. Can you give me one example of normal fault? Very good! Sierra Nevada Fault of North America is an example of normal fault. Now, let's have the second type of fault, which is reverse fault. This happens when rock is being squeezed due to compression force. This type of fault generally moves up. Do you know the famous example of reverse fault? You got it right! It is the Rocky Mountains of Himalayas. We are now down to the third type of fault which is transfer fault. Transform fault happens when rocks slide past each other in opposite direction. The San Andreas Fault is an example of this. Now, we are about to end our lesson for today. Let us recap what we have learned. We discussed the different types of folds and faults. Faults constitute the twists and bends in rocks. There are five types of faults, and these are monocline, anticline, syncline, overturned, and recumbent. It's time for a short assessment of our topics today. Prepare a ball pen and a piece of paper to answer the following questions. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Ready? Let's begin! Number 1. It is a type of earth movement that forms cracks or fractures on the rocks. Letter A. Tension. B. Faulting. C. Folding or letter D. Compression Number 2. It is a type of earth movement resulting from the compression of rock. Letter A. Tension B. Faulting C. Folding or letter D. Compression
Number 3. A one-sided slope connecting two horizontal or gently inclined strata. Letter A. Monocline. B. Syncline. C. Anticline. Or letter D. Overturned. Number 4. It is an upward fold on the rock. Letter A. Monocline. B. Syncline. C. Anticline. Or letter D. Overturned. Number 5. It happens when rock is being squeezed due to compression force. This type of fault generally moves up. Letter A. Monocline B. Transform fault C. Reverse fault or Letter D. Normal fault Congratulations! We are done with our short quiz for today. Please submit your output to your respective subject teacher via messenger or email. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Again, I am Teacher Alice J. Calupas of Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School, Senior High School, Division of Misamis Oriental. Tune in for another learning episode next time. Goodbye!